welcome to episode three of T, me and my four-wheel drive. I'm me, this is T, Ruby's in the back, and this is my four-wheel drive. Hang on, you're not T, you're Ruby. Where's T? Ah, unfortunately, T can't make it today. She has school. She, I'm, uh, I'm not very popular at the moment. You see, um, it's a Wednesday, and uh, I've decided to go off uh, four-wheel driving um, with my friend Ian, and um, T can't come, so she's not at all happy with me, um, and I'm absolutely in the bad books. But anyway, we're uh, we're going to make a bit of a video. Um, I've promised T that uh, we'll head back up to the block on Friday night, just for a night, and um, and uh, do a night of camping up there. So we'll get another video towards the end of the week, um, and we will definitely have T back. But for the moment, Ruby's here, and she's uh, she's going to keep me company. Um, I've also got Ian. I'll just turn this around. I don't know if you can see him, but I'm just following Ian at the moment up the road. Ian is uh, in his four-wheel drive. We're heading back up to uh, Marysville, um, up around the area where we were uh, oh, probably a month or two ago. Um, and uh, we're going to go and see if we can find some snow. There was meant to be some snow overnight, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've also got the chainsaw this time, so uh, any logs that we find across the road are out of our way. We're, uh, we're not going to um, put up with them. Um, I'm also in the Hilux again. Um, I've decided to take the Hilux out, not the Pathfinder today. I have never actually had this Hilux off-road yet, really. Um, haven't done any uh, any forward driving in it, um, so this will be the uh, the first time, first experience. Anyway, um, it's a great day. We're uh, we're heading out. It's about 7:30 in the morning. Um, the sun's just come up, and um, I reckon it's going to be a pearler of a day. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk to you um, when we get up the other end. Well, we've continued on down the track. This is the track that uh, T and I were on um, about a month ago when we were up here and uh, we got stopped by the tree. We've actually just passed that tree. Um, someone's obviously come up and um, and finished off the work that I couldn't do last time, which is uh, is really good. It means I don't have to get out the, uh, the chainsaw. It's very foggy. Ian's just up there in front. Uh, we're going along. Now, last time Ian and I were up along this track, we were driving on about uh, two or three inches of snow and um, it was just pristine. No one had been up before us. So I don't reckon we're gonna see any snow today, but um, we are certainly getting a little bit of mud on the car and uh, and that's a good thing. So um, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll probably pull over and stop somewhere up here. Um, I've got my tires up around uh, 80 PSI at the moment, which means that I have a very bumpy ride um, and I'm looking to drop them down to about 30 um, so that I get a bit of a nicer uh, ride and a bit more um, uh, a bit more grip on this uh, slippery wet road. So we will find somewhere to stop. The dogs are getting a bit narky. They want to get out and stretch their legs. So um, we'll pull up somewhere soon. All right, well, we've come to the end of this track. Um, bit disappointing actually uh, last time we were up here um, we actually turned off the track just here and uh, this is where the actual good four-wheel driving started um, this was all of course covered in snow and we had to come up through this area and we've come up here today and discovered a brand new gate that they've decided to put in they've closed this track off um, extremely disappointing um, this was the fun part of it, and uh, it's no good now. This is Ian, say hi Ian. Hi Ian. And uh, Ian's two dogs, and of course we've got Ruby out here in Ruby Red. You won't miss her. Um, yeah, so overall, a little bit disappointing. Um, but that's okay, we'll, uh, we'll head back out. Um, head around uh, Mount Margaret, go around the back of Lake Mountain and um, 
see if we can find some four-wheel drive tracks and have a bit of fun. Um, yeah, very, very disappointing. <laughs> a little while since I've uh, done an update so I thought I'd better do a video update. We've certainly stopped and taken lots of, um, of photos along the way and um, I'm sure I'll upload those when uh, uh, when I get around to making the movie. Um, we've actually come down from Mount Margaret into the Rubicon State Forest. Um, we've come across an aqueduct um, and um, we've had some magnificent views as we uh, we came down um, down the mountainside. We're now just stopped down here and uh, I don't know if you can see or not, but over there in the distance is the old sawmill, um, which is what the aqueduct was for. The aqueduct, um, they used to float the logs down to, um, to the sawmill here um, and then cut them all up. Um, we've also just stopped because there's this fantastic um, uh, little house on the side here. We can't go and investigate it because um, it is private property, as it says so right here um but we did stop and um thought we'd take a quick photo with it because it's uh, it's a pretty cool little house um we've actually decided to come down a little uh, different way where uh, we're now going to come out of the rubicon state forest and we're going to head up through taggarty um and then we're going to cut across into the black forest and down through talangi um talangi is one of my favorite places for all driving and um i'm sure we'll certainly find some mud over that side um so yeah, anyway, we'll uh, head on off and um, yeah, more fun. Let's see what we find. What a find that was. We just came across to um, have a look at this power station here. And uh, as we we're standing here looking back at the, um, the gate, um, the guy who actually maintains the power station came up and, um, and opened it up. Um, it's not actually uh, operating at the moment. It's been down for about six weeks, but this is an actual live um, hydro power station. Um, With, uh, that, two, two turbines. Two turbines and that is what the aqueducts are for. So we learned something today. Um, that is absolutely amazing. Uh, he said that um, we were okay to go up and, uh, and have a bit of a walk around there. So we've just been up and, uh, and walked around there, but wow, that, um, 
That is really cool. That's made and, our day worthwhile. And, and what is amazing, if you look at the pipeline, just to the right of the pipeline here, there's an old rail line built in the 1920s where they used to haul the pipes up and down for maintenance. So they would have had a um, metal cable running kilometres up the hill, hauling these huge pipes up and down to maintain the, the flow of water in through the, um, the power station at its time. That is really cool. Could you imagine hauling something up the tracks going up the side of that pipe that is bloody steep i wouldn't drive it let alone walk it that is cool that is really cool we've got a cable sorry t um you missed out on that one um you're gonna have to make that one up to you anyway we're gonna keep going we're gonna uh, head across to the black forest and um find our way down through uh, talangi so unless we find something between here and there we'll see you on the other side of the road we'll see you on the river crossing Ian's just attempting a very, very steep climb here. Uh, what gear are you in? Um, can you winch up there? You might be better off winching. Uh, probably could. I reckon we might need to winch you rather, you, you were sliding around back there. Um, if you start going back, so you, you might slide down. Just be careful if you're gonna reverse, but um, yeah, you can try first gear and see if you can get up any further, but uh, just be careful. All right, you're gonna to need to winch. So just stay there. Um, where's your recovery gear? On the back, I'm afraid I'll jump out and just have the, uh, the handbrake, I wanna slide back. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make the, the car safe. What I want you to do is to put the car in gear, probably first gear, and then what I want you to do is take your foot off the, keep your foot on the brake, take your foot off the clutch, until it stalls. And I want you to stall it in gear. Do not put your foot on that clutch.
Is that done? Is it off? All right, now put the handbrake on slowly, take your foot off the brake and see if it holds. All right, I'm gonna run up. We're gonna, um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the car safe. I'm gonna bring up a, um, a recovery strap. We're gonna put it on there and, um, and just try and get the car onto a tree so at least it's safe. Um, and then we can worry about winching. Well, you might as well bring your GoPro and you walk up. Yeah, I think I will. All right, stay here. You gonna come? Well, I'll wait till you uh, sort of um, come up a little bit and then um, we'll jump out of the car. I don't want to jump out where there's a little bit of a pipe type of thing. Yeah, just give me a minute. I'm gonna grab some recovery gear. And there's Ian, just sitting around in the, in the car. Yeah, I know, but I didn't know what you have. I sport some basic stuff. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get around a tree here, get Ian's winch out and put it on the tree, just so we can hold it safe until we can Work out what to do. I'm going to need, need to fill it back a bit. Okay. I don't know what we can see at the moment, what we can't, but this is bloody steep, it's bloody slippery. I'm going to try and get Ian's winch controller out so that we can um, get some winch out. And then probably, I think we want to winch him up just past this bit here. So we're going to pick a tree just up there somewhere put the tree protector around it and then um, get the winch up there. If we can get him just maybe about five metres forward, I reckon he can drive the rest on, on his own steam. So I'm going to go and find Ian's recovery gear. Where is it? Did you want to jump? All right. So, come on, Ruby. We're going to get out of the way. Once the car's running, then we can operate the winch. Yep. In hindsight, we probably should have got you to keep, keep the car going, but, you know... <sighs> Best intentions and all. Alrighty. So, I'm going to take my GoPro off so it doesn't jump around. Ruby, we're going to go over here. Okay. So, I want you to start the car. Try and drive. All right. Put, put it in. Put it in first gear and see if you can drive up. Drive, 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 drive hard. Go guns, guns, hold guns. Turn your wheel left and right, left and right. Get any traction you can. Towards me. No, stop, hold it there, hold it there. All right, now we're gonna get the winch. That is slippery. All right, so what we've done, we've run the winch out to a tree at the top there. Now, Ian, just take in the slack. Take in the slack. Stop. Okay, so what I want you to now do is when you start winching, I want you to start driving very slowly in first gear. I just want you to get up over this hump. Once you're up over the hump, then you can stop winching, all right? Start winching, just very slowly drive. Go right, stop there, let the, take the winch in. All right, keep driving up.
Okay, just I just want you to winch about another metre because you just stopped on a bog hole. Just keep going up a little bit. All right, stop. All right. You should be able to drive out on your own steam now. Um, so, yeah, low second gear. Yep. All right, come here, Ruby. Go for it. Go hard. Keep going. No, no, no. Stop. Go. You're going to have to go hard. Give it a bit of mumbo. Come back. All right. Go, but I want you pulling more over to the right this time. Go. No. Stop, 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 stop. All right. Stop there. You actually need to, to come. Don't go any further back because you're right on the edge now. Go up. Go to the right. When you come back, full lock the other way so this wheel is coming out of that shit because you've just chewed it all up through there. Go, 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 go! Stop, go the other way, go the other way. Uh, yep, yep. No. 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 All right. You're not going to make that. How much air have you got in your tyres? 45. Yeah, see, I reckon you're going to get out on 45. You need to drop it. Yeah. You drop them down to 25, you'll drive that. Okay, so we just um, let Ian's tyres down to about 25 PSI, and he's going to have another go at, um, at driving this out. So give it a fair bit of mumbo and just let's go. Stop. Come on, stop. Are you? Hop, hop. Okay, go. Hard, 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 hard. Keep going fast. That's how we'll spin it. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. Go the other way. Go that way. Go. We're, we're going to have to um, we're going to have to run a winch up and uh, get you up out of this spot. Get you up a little bit higher, I think. All right. Okay. Well, that obviously didn't work. Um, so this bit here is what's called. Your mate's already walked up this really steep hill once, and um, it's about time you did it. So <laughs> Ian is now going up and finding out just exactly what I found out before that this is bloody steep and bloody slippery. So anyway, up Ian goes. He's gonna see how high he can get and see whether he can get a um, another tree that's uh, that's further up that's, um, that will give him a bit more purchase and, um, and let him winch the rest of the way up. So yeah, I'll let you know once we're ready to winch. Okay, take 155, I don't know what we're up to. Anyway, Ian's going to do a very, very, very long winch. What he's going to do is try and winch himself up past this um, hard bit, get as high as we can. This is a very long winch. We've got two snatch straps on it. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. That's good. All right, right back, Ruby, back. All right, here it goes. It's taking up the pressure. You can see it in there. I'm trying to stand well away from that because if that comes off, I uh, don't want to be in the uh, anywhere near it. All right, so just keep winching and slowly start driving as you winch. I think he's gonna to have to winch most of the way myself.
Winch, 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 keep winching. Yeah. Alright, stop there. I'm gonna unhook you. I want you to drive up this side of it, alright? So I'm just gonna put this down for a sec. It's still bloody slippery, still bloody sweet, steep. I'm gonna unhook the winch. Okay. I reckon there's going to be a really good chance that um, I'm going to be using that winch as well. So. Okay, let's run this uh, winch cable back in. Winch. You can see how slippery this is and just has no chance whatsoever i think what we're going to have to do is we're going to um we're going to pull him up to this tree here and um get him over this hump i think once he gets over this hump he'll be fine but i can tell you i'm really looking forward to coming up this one i am actually couldn't believe it all right t i am really sorry but schooling is important. So I know you've missed out on an amazing day of four wheel driving, the likes of uh, which I haven't seen in a long time, but yeah, I'm sorry. All right. Okay, again, I'm just gonna put this down while I fix up this winch onto here. I might be able to get that on without having to take Sorry, you've gone flying. Great shot there. All right, up he comes. Ruby, come up, up, come on. Don't worry about her. Come on, Ruby. Just keep the winch. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't drive over your winch cable. Okay. Come up, come up. Drive up. Drive up. Okay. All right, so Ian's up. I think he can drive the rest of this um, himself. We're gonna get this uh, winch cable unhooked. I'm gonna run all the way down to the bottom of that um, hill again, and um, it's my turn. All right, well, here he is. He is up. Well done, Ian. And the best part of it, his recovery gear is dirty. <laughs> I reckon that's fantastic that's because you should not have Recovery gear that is not dirty. Now, why the hell do they supply recovery straps which are white? <laughs> yeah, what's well, an interesting colour, but uh, <laughs> yeah. it'll soon be brown with uh, telangy oh, well. clay. Well, now I've got to get up it. Um, Where's your car? <laughs> my car is way down the bottom there, and uh, so I'm going to walk down there. It's going to take me a few minutes, so I'll stop the video. I'll teach Ian how to start it, and then uh, he can kick this off um, when I start driving and. Uh, and film me coming up. No, I reckon we further. keep recording so we watch Craig fall down the street. <laughs> nah, he'll get it. There's no need to catch me walking down the track, trust me. All right, I'm going to go down and get driving. No, in the uh, Toyota. Yeah, the Yeah, so I'm actually recording on the GoPro here at the moment. So this is uh, 
fox mowing Craig trying to uh, attempt the, the steep um, incline after uh, three attempts of winching up the, uh, the troop carrier, uh, quite steep. So here goes Craig now. So we've got Shane uh, live streaming on uh, Messenger Facebook at the moment and uh, we're recording on uh, the GoPro as well. So here he comes, a bit more speed than myself. Now he's also got 25 uh, PSI where I was running almost uh, 45 PSI on the bigger tyres and and I think we've uh, just about made it and here he comes. Do you want to park it sideways so it doesn't roll down? <laughs> that was awesome. That was nuts. G'day, Craig. Who's that? That's Shane via uh, oh, video link. Shane, you should be here. Oh my God. That, that was unreal, mate. Oh, that was nuts. God, I thought I was going to get airborne mate, coming up there. But... Oh, bloody hell. That is good. That is good. All right, we're going to pack up the recovery <laughs> gear and keep moving. All right, no worries. I'll let you uh, go then, anyway. All right, yeah, and there's uh, and there, there's there's Shane on the uh, the live feed. So say good day to everyone and uh, on the Fox Mowing uh, website and world. Wave, Shane. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Bye. 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 Wow, how awesome was that? That was that was nuts. I don't know how I made that. I. Uh, a few times coming up, I thought I wasn't going to make it. I don't know what it looked like from the top, but I can tell you I was bouncing around down here, weren't we, Ruth? Yeah. Well, that was cool. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's keep going and see what else we can find. All right, well... Um, I can't remember the last time we spoke to you, but um, we've had a bit of fun. We've um, we've come down through uh, Talangi, and uh, we stopped in a few of the campsites and had a bit of a look around. Um, got bombed a couple of times. Yeah, got the wind chat. No, we didn't. We um, <laughs> we we did find a lot of mud, a lot of water. Um, as you can see, the cars are um, uh, quite nicely. Uh, covered in a bit of dirt and um and that's just fantastic so anyway we had um we had an absolutely fantastic day um but we're going to sign off from here we've just got to pump uh, put some air back into the tires um and we're back on the bitumen and um and going to head home so um anything's add in until it snows again we're up here that's right yeah. thanks very much uh, ian for coming out with me today um had an absolute uh, blast and we really must do this more often and maybe we'll get a few more of the um the fox, fox mowing and uh, gardening uh fox mowing guys training, out. training day for sure that's right fox mowing and gardening the new name in uh, mowing and gardening uh 1800 369 669 um if you need uh, mowing and gardening done uh, give them a call um, franchise opportunities are available as well um, but for now um, we'll sign off uh, that's all from um, T minus T today sorry dear um, T me and um, of course my four-wheel drive let's go 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 go
stop the clutch. All right, I'll kill that video. That was a, um, that can go on the outtakes. Um, we'll start that one again. Okay. Well, we've just found our first four wheel drive obstacle. Uh, this is quite steep, I'm a bit out of breath because I've just run up it. I'm not gonna run down it and um, drive back up it. Wish me luck. Wow, that was awesome. That was good fun to drive up. I don't know why I left the camera so far down the hill, but anyway, now I've got to walk up the rest of it. Good fun, sorry T, we're having a blast. <laughs>